Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Amber and this is my first let's play or first playthrough of God of War 2018 and I think today we're about to finish the series and I'm quite emotional about it. I don't know if I'm ready to say goodbye to this yet but here we are, we're here. Apparently last time I left off in a weird spot. <laughs> I'm not sure how much we've got left so yeah, I'm just probably just gonna run around really slowly and just take it all in, the whole experience. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been an awesome, awesome adventure and I just wanna thank everyone so much for all of your support, for joining me <laughs> on this game. I think this was one of the games on the channel that brought in a lot of new people into the community and I'm really, really grateful and thankful to have shared this experience with you all. It's been, Really, really good fun. We've just had kind of the finale with Boulder and Freya, a huge fight, and we also defeated all the Valkyries and the Valkyrie Queen and found out that Freya was the original Valkyrie Queen. So what an enemy to have, a Vanir goddess and the Valkyrie Queen. It was lovely to see Kratos and Atreus work together like that and see how far they've come and you know, Kratos was completely relying on Atreus's help throughout the fight, and it was just really fucking cool <laughs> as well. It was really awesome. Yeah, I have mixed feelings about finishing the series. I am sad, but I am excited to start a new Let's Play on the channel. So, yeah, but it's gonna be hard to say goodbye to this game. I'm getting teary-eyed already, and <laughs> we haven't even reached the end. Woo! So yeah, I think for the last time in this series, I can say without further ado, let's just play. Okay, here we go. This is it. <laughs> I'm so excited, but nervous. I don't know why. I think I'm scared of finishing the game. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Too much swearing for the start of the video, my bad. Boy, ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. <laughs> Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh god. I hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this. <laughs> no, Too late. I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready. Oh god. That's unpleasant. Yeah, that does not look. <laughs> like it would be fun. Now, boy. Oof. Way. I wonder if the head got heavier with all that magic. There. We must be close. Oh, it's well, glowing. What are we waiting for? Gold and yellow. I think it's far. We will see. Ooh, steps. That's new. A word, please, before we continue. Yeah. Are we endangering? Yeah. Listen, the by last doing thing this? you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Oh. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight, my lady sifts off. I'm getting emotional monsters. already. <laughs> done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. <laughs> Get emotional already. Ooh. Oh no. No, 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 no. Are we leaving them with the Damn it. fine? <laughs> Watch the head till we return. I can do this. He's upside down. No, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Is that it? Oh! I don't know if I am ready. This is... The... Tree, is it not? <laughs> what are they gonna do to him? Maybe they do want his eyes. 
after all. Why this is a stairway to a blinding light. Oh man. He can't wait. He is running ahead. Jesus. Hello. Oh gosh. Ooh. Ooh. That is so bright. Look! We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. Why did it just take us here? Interesting. We did it. We did. <laughs> oh, I kind of wanted to travel here. Oh, it is the year nine. Scars are changing. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> and now I have my gauntlets on again. <laughs> so I can't look at my chains. How's that for character development, eh? Letting his um chain scars breathe. And letting him carry her. Can't see a whole lot. Like we're on an air temple or something. <laughs> That's really high. What are these are these gold. Oh wait, they're kind of. Oh, I do like hmm. that. Those pretty colours. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Ooh, bit of purple to go with all this yellow. Anybody here? Who are these? They're pointing us in this way. Ooh! Splashes of red. Oh. What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Right? Cool. Odin and Thor ruining everything for everybody. Is it written here? Oh, he's writing something down. The dream of Midgard. Midgard was a dream of what could be if we shared and collaborated. Jotnar, Aesir, Vanir, Elf, Dwarf, and mortals most of all. It was beautiful, but not everyone is capable of sharing. Some believe anything uncontrolled is savage and threatening. And so we were mocked, tricked and used, and then slaughtered. Jesus. Odin and his tribe were barred from our realm. But it was not enough. The wrath of Thor and his terrible hammer have thinned our number in Midgard to the brink of ruin. There is no option but to withdraw, while yet any live to do so. Odin and Thor would have killed all the giants if they could, and they got away with everything. God, they're a horrible pair, aren't they? Where are they now? The giants came back home so they could survive. But I'm not sure they did. Did they not make it? 
Oh, just, oh my god, that's depressing. But then who's sitting on these benches? <laughs> Why are they here if no one has gets to sit on them? Oh, these people look scared. Huh, who's the guardian? Spoilers? Such a tease. Just giving me snippets of the story. The Guardian returns. We foresee Midgard's fate, overrun a second hell. Neither Odin nor his dead may reach Jernheim. The ways must be shut. The serpent and Guardian remained. Oh. They alone shall keep our hope. When doom befalls the indestructible, only then shall the Guardian return. When do doom befalls the indestructible, only then shall the Guardian return. Until then, we await a better world, one without fear, without greed, without war. We wait for deliverance and justice. We wait for a champion. We wait for word that gods grow good. Could that be me, my boy? Hope the, that world gets here soon. So there's a guardian as well as the serpent. That is interesting. Um, I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. Would that be what tear? To that? Why'd mom send us here? One question is answered and two more take its place. Oh yeah, that's true. Why would she want us to come here? To see all this ourselves? To face our, like, godhood? And want to be good gods, maybe? She probably believed that they could be good, right? Ooh. Hey, father, something's happening. Ooh. Wait, isn't that the axe though? It's your axe. It's smaller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us! Oh, <gasps> what? First we met the world serpent. It was here? But how? And their Word. friend was Baldur! <gasps> but that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. What? The dragon in the mountain? The stone mason? All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. <laughs> What? You didn't know. She was a giant. Oh, whoa! I'm a giant. Oh, that makes sense. He was just kind of able to do us? stuff. <laughs> Touch stuff and stuff happened. She sent us here knowing we would find this. I see. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Mm. Baldur was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Mm. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. What's he looking at? Yes, we are. <gasps> what the fuck? What 
is he doing? Wait, 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 wait. Let me look at that. You better let me turn around. Doesn't he want to know how far the story goes? Oh, those cheeky little devils. They've covered it up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Are, are those doggies? <laughs> are those his wolves? Oh, shit. He's walking alone. He looks very happy, though, so I guess that's good. Is there any more? No. It looked like something was coming out of, um, well, either or mouth. Like absorbing a soul, maybe? That was weird. Um, <laughs> that's a little worrying. That's a little worrying. This has been destroyed. Ooh, what's that about there? Do you think she destroyed this so we wouldn't see this part? Well, <laughs> fingers crossed he has a happy future. He's walking with some jolly joy, I guess. Just doesn't look like I'm in it. Me, Kratos. Damn. Ah, oh, I wish we could have met her. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's, um, isn't that us meeting the, that turtle house? That must be Freya there. These are awesome. That kind of looks like we're battling the world serpent though. A little bit. Weird. And then, yeah, she woke up the stone mason. Oh, that's so awesome. So, so awesome. Cool. I took a um, 3D class from someone who worked at... Uh, it was like an on online class from someone who worked um, on this game. And they made like a stone wall a lot like this. They used a substance designer, so you could like use nodes to <clears throat> uh, create like a height map and normal map and colors of a texture. And then you can apply that to like a piece of geometry and then basically get this. It's a cool way to create textures fast. Because you can create like a whole graph and then just edit small pieces and get like different results like really quickly. But they did then take the output into ZBrush and do some more sculpting and stuff in there. Get more cracks and rock textures in. It was a really cool class. Oh, that's so awesome that we found that. It makes sense Look, that she's a giant. It's mother's. She was here. She saw every step oh. we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Oh. Leading us home. She knew of the hardship Let's finish her. Face. Oh my god. This is so cool. She seems awesome. Beautiful flowers here as well. It's so... I was going to say it's very yellow here. And it's it's weird that... <clears throat> this is the our final um, destination because since the beginning since her handprints we've just been led by yellow and all of these uh, you know these signs saying when you can climb have all been yellow as well it's all led to here maybe it's her her mark guiding us the whole way I keep wanting to look out everywhere. Ooh! I can kind of see something over there. Can't tell what though. Wait. That looks like an arm. Can you see that? Wait, there's a face! Whoa, that is creepy. What the fuck? I've only just seen that face there. 
Are these the giants? Are they dead? I'm so confused on the giants because I swear they said earlier that giants weren't actually giant. Just a few of them. But every giant we've met has been massive. No? I guess apart from our mum. Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh, whoa. Holy shit, what happened? This is really sad. She, she wanted us to help her people somehow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you lifted him up. No. We do it together. Son. This is so sad. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. Wow. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? What? That's <gasps> the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? Oh, uh, what? A question for another day. Let us go home. That's blowing my mind, what the fuck? What? Okay. Let me just take that in. Take a look at this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What, what, what? You just want me to look at that big dead body on the floor? Yeah, my boy, I've seen it. <laughs> I see them all. This is so sad. Was she the last giant left? We must like need to help her people somehow. Or our people, we should say. Oh, bless them all. She's gone. Holy shit. I really want to do 
this with my own mum's ashes, so it's... <laughs> oh, I hit home really hard. Um, yeah. What a game. <sighs> it's from, yeah. It's, it's weird because it's been building up all game. That was such a beautiful moment. That was... Um... Wow. Hey, come look at this. Why do you keep asking me to come over here, sir? <laughs> he just wants me to see to see everyone. <sighs> no, I knew I was gonna cry at that. I knew it. I related it to it too personally to not cry to it. So beautiful. I can't believe he's Loki. Okay. Everything I know from Loki is just from the Marvel movies. <laughs> Someone out there is furiously clicking off of my video. Um, and in that he's Thor's adoptive brother. And he's an absolute shit. So, <laughs> I mean, we saw a, a snippet of kind of that sort of personality in him at one point. But he's such a sweet empathetic boy and the mythology is probably completely different maybe they just changed it for Hollywood um, I'll have to give it a read and I'll be really excited to find out about it um, wow he's loving this view <laughs> me too although it is very very sad up here It makes sense that she's a giant because she had the axe which is infused with, what did the dwarf say, like frost giant breath or something? <sighs> I want to know how they met. I want to know about their backstory together. I want to know more about her. Father, she's so I interesting. See this. I know you want me to leave, but... Not ready to. So she wanted us to come on this journey to find out about her, find out about, um, you know, the giants. We're gonna, we're gonna be involved. We've got to help them somehow. Guess Maybe it all makes sense now. Get revenge. Why she end I don't up here? know. You with her kind? But yeah. Don't you know it's gonna be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Oh, credits. Did she want us to tell the people or keep it a secret? I do not know. I think she so wants us to. I trust you I to decide that. Ah. If time is like, maybe we could save them? I don't know. Because this game's like constantly talks about things that are yet to happen, but as if they've happened in the past. Right? I know, I'm getting kind of confused. She definitely has another motive for bringing us here, though. Not just that she wants to be with her people. I think she was trying to so present to us, like, the bad... Why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be oh, yeah. God. Huh. I ask that. No. He was a soldier, a Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We <laughs> trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. Aww. He inspired us to hope. That though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. Hmm. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. 
I carried him home on his shield and uh -huh. with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. <laughs> I missed it. That's so funny. I was gonna ask why they didn't name him Loki and where Trace came from. Was he in a past game? Did we see that? Story? What was I saying? Yeah, I think she was trying to Show us the result of bad gods, maybe. It wants us to be good gods. That's my final theory. I'll stop talking about it now. <laughs> I feel like I've just rambled all the way down here. Um, whoa. Whoa, I don't know where I'm walking. I just keep pushing forward. Yes. Almost walked off the edge, though. Dangerous light. Okay, we need to close this up and protect this. Even though they're gone already. I understand if you want to go home. But maybe helping people was part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. No. Oh no, this makes me sad. Something's gonna happen and that thing on the wall, he leaves us behind. Maybe he leaves the name behind and becomes Loki. <sighs> I'm worried. I really want to read about it. But also, I don't want to spoil the next game. <laughs> He's just on the floor. Glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? <laughs> I could take you home, show you around. Explore for Trace. Continue exploring. Complete dwarven favors, free dragons. I think I've already done those. <laughs> Travel to Muspelheim and Nilfheim. Oh, Niflheim. Okay. I might not have done everything there. I don't know if I like those realms very much. Find new items in the shop to get powerful equipment that allow you to defeat all legendary corrupted Valkyries. Already done that. <laughs> already did that. Um, I don't think I've got. I think I probably got pretty good armor, but I don't know if I got the best of the best. Maybe I should go get it just because. New game plus. Oh, I'm maintaining your equipment. Oh, maybe I should do that. Someone told me that I missed a bunch of stuff in the one place in Helheim you can't revisit, which is sad, but I guess it is what it is. Um. No, thank you. I'm good. You really wanted me to do that, didn't it? <laughs> Can we never come back here again? I actually looked at the door before. Are all the giants stonemasons? I don't think we can go back. That's sad. Well, I guess we have Mimir's head, so no one can follow. I didn't think about that. Let's go home. Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you likely realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur, it's become something else. Wait, what? The Hormans. For the coming of winter. Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Oh shit. From snow. Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. Right. So I'm our actions sped it up. I can feel it in my throat. This is the big one. Stop saying that. 
Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. That's why they're talking about the weather. <laughs> How dare you make me the voice of the Yeah, Just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The <laughs> winner to end all winners. Ragnarok? Feel it in my screw. Y yeah. We... I've already heard that. So yeah. Heading home, try to keep moving, and also to not die. <gasps> is it snowing outside? Home, same advice. Okay. I'm excited. I want to see it. Wait. I think I could just go through the realm thingy. But oh, I see it snowing. Ooh. Is it the whole environment changed or is it just it's now snowing? <laughs> and that's it. There were a couple of things on this lake that I didn't get, which I could do, but to be honest with you, I don't I don't have a motive to do it because I've already defeated the Valkyries. Hmm. Let me go through the door. This door. Th this door. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, how do I get home? Which home shall I go to? In chamber. Let's go home. Let's go home. Maybe I should have walked. Brothers, there's another thing I must let you know. From the time you were away in Jotunheim. Mm -hmm. Well, tell us then. It concerns Freya. She oh God. Me a visit. What did you tell her? What little I know about where Odin may have kept her Valkyrie wings. <laughs> oh shit. Bent on reclaiming her warrior spirit. I'm afraid the cycle of vengeance may not be so easily broken. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh no. While we were in Jotunheim, Freya found Mimir to ask where Odin might have kept her warrior spirit. That's a little scary. I haven't defeated the Valkyrie Queen yet. Oh. Oh, I really don't. <laughs> it's difficult because even when Boulder was right in front of her saying that he wants to feel again, or that he wants to die, or that he wants nothing to do with her, she like, she wasn't listening. There's no way she's gonna listen now that we've taken away her precious sweet boy. Sweet. <laughs> she absolutely despises us. It's terrifying. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. Talking it's about a light it. improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Was it always snowing here? I feel like it was. Yeah, definitely was. Ooh. Oh no, it's just a shiny puddle. I thought there was something on the ground. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. If it ever ends. Oh my god, we've destroyed the house. <laughs> Isn't this roof broken? Or something? Oh no, it's not too bad. Just the just a bit fell through here, I think. Why do I why did I think Boulder like destroyed the house? Aren't you tired? Yeah, I'm trying to trying to sit down. Okay, this'll do. Oh yeah, he's just with us now. <laughs> We've adopted Sleep. him. Way ahead of you. Oh my god, is this is the first time they're sleeping. Years later. What's that? The ball. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Who are you? Oh shit. I was wondering even when we would see him. 
That's the wall, right? That was pretty cool. Is that? Oh! Oh, okay, so that's the ending. Okay, okay, okay. Holy shit. <laughs> right after we killed his sons, I was like, is he gonna appear? Is he not gonna be angry about this? But then, when we then spoke to um, Modi, was it? Um, after we killed Magni, he was like, everyone thinks I'm a laughing stock. So I was like, okay, maybe Thor doesn't actually really care about his sons that much. And he just never appeared. <sighs> we did it. We did it. <laughs> oh, I kind of just want to sit here and listen to this music. And then <sighs> I'll come back and we'll chat. Oh, it's so awesome. Oh, it's so good, the music. One thing I'm I'm really confused on, actually, just... It said years later, but they hadn't changed. <laughs> the character models look the same. Like, surely Atreus or Loki should have been taller. They also had never spoke about the passage of time before in the game. I was wondering how much time had passed in the whole journey of the whole game anyway. I know uh, Mimir said right at the end that quite a bit of time had passed since they'd been in Jotunheim. Ah! Atreus, what the hell? Are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimble winter was ending and Thor what? came for us. What? Here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like the future. Then oh. we'll worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. Okay. So it was a um it was a vision. That's that's why it said years later and they hadn't changed. And then present day just now. That makes sense. <laughs> I was really confused on that. Okay, that's cool. Um, ooh, we can see into the future. Awesome. I don't know if we're gonna be allowed back in after we come out here. It's so dark in there. No. Okay, I'm gonna go to the toilet real quick and then we'll come back and discuss everything. Be right back. We have so much to discuss. So much to talk about. I just can't believe it's over. <laughs> I feel kind of emotional about it. <sighs> For so many reasons, the game was really, really awesome. And it's it's been a game on the channel that's brought in a lot of people into the community. And I think it'll just have a very special place in my heart for a while. <laughs> um, yeah, my goodness. What a journey that they went on together. It was so beautiful to watch them bond and and for Kratos to say he doesn't want to hide anymore and doesn't want to cover up those scars from Blades and his past and have a more open relationship with his son. It was just so good. I feel like the game was kind of setting up for the next game though. <laughs> um, I think, well, we've met Thor. Well, we're going to meet Thor, I guess, if that's a vision. I feel like Freya might be like a a side villain. Or well, hopefully not the main villain, that's really sad. She was such a big character in this game. It's really... Oh, I really like her. But it's terrifying that she wants to regain her warrior spirit. Someone re-explained to me that she couldn't fight, which I apparently forgot <laughs> last time we played. Um... She, Odin took away her win wings and she isn't allowed to fight. So that's why she was using the um, giant, the stonemason giant to try and split up the fight between Kratos and Boulder. They being a giant, her leading us on this whole journey and maybe she knew our actions would lead to Ragnarok. Because what happens in Ragnarok, isn't it like Judgment Day for Odin? 
and whatnot. And Odin's trying to turn the tide of what happens during Ragnarok. I just want to see Odin go down. Oh, I don't, I don't. I just want to see him go down. I don't know, I do not like him. And then the thing with Loki being revealed, that was a complete flip. I was not expecting that at all. I'm excited to see what they do with it. All I know of Loki really is he's, he can change shape and he likes to trick people. Ugh. I mean, he's a boy and he has so much room to grow and all of his life experiences are going to shape him and make him who he is. So we'll see what happens with him there. It's going to be really cool to see. So much of it felt like a game of just wonder, like seeing the world through Atreus's eyes and just in awe all the huge creatures and the set pieces. Yeah, maybe it's all leading up because I know the, well, isn't the new game called God of War Ragnarok or something? Um, oh, I should probably watch the trailer for it. Should we do that now? <laughs> Oh, the winds are blowing. Oh, oh he looks incredible. <gasps> huh. He brought a deer. That's like the start of this game. Oh, oh my god, he looks totally different. Time is Holy running shit. Out. Oh. The prophecies say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am. Who was that who I thought it was? I will not allow you to pick a fight with God. I don't want to fight anyone. Ooh. I just Ooh. want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard, maybe that's what Mother wants. We do not know what Mother wanted. Oh. Well. <laughs> I recognize that dour expression anywhere. Oh my god. Oh, Mimir was just the best. Odin's got <gasps> tricks up his the lake's frozen over. To consider. What if there was someone who could help us? You mean to. Oh, his little voice. The old god of war in these lands. Who is dead. Well, he's dead. A dead man. Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. If he's out there. We gotta find him. Oh, that is gorgeous. What in all yarns be the happen to him? Oh my god, he's still like. We're trying to stop Ragnarok to help people. Whoa. And the only way to do that is war. Ooh. War Ooh. is not the only way. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking that, like a child. Was that the of Oh my god. Like a bashes. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you a calm and reasonable person? Oh my god. This is awesome. God. Moments of crisis. Panic does nothing. Is it? Ooh. Let it serve you. Here. Why? Are you coming with us? Oh, he's got the gold eye. He's massive. Enough. Well, some of them. Oh, who's that? She looked like she was in the the Please realm that you could see through Freya's window. Was it Vanaheim or something? Oh, wow, that was awesome. I think I had it's an ATP on for that video. Whoops, whoops. It might have been a little bit blurry. Oh my god, that was so cool. God, Lil Atreus is a teenager. That's crazy. Oh, it was awesome to see because I could recognize some areas that were now frozen. And oh, we'll go find Tyr. We're learning about him all game. 
That's so exciting. Maybe I should have watched that until I finished discussing about this game. There's a really awesome little octopus. <laughs> In that, I bet that was a nightmare to animate. <sighs> but it looked awesome. It looked so cool. And the environments looked so good. Ah, I'm terrified of Freya. She wants to kick her ass. <laughs> oh god. She was wielding a weapon, so I wonder if she found her warrior spirit. She was a bird, she didn't have wings, did she? I don't think I could probably rewatch it and see. And Kratos doesn't want to fight. He wants peace. What a god of war journey. Character development, that is. Ugh. I'm excited to meet Tyr, though. Is Tyr, is Tyr a giant? Did I miss that at some point? I thought the di giants just liked him. He looks like a giant. He's big. I'm so confused on the giants. Can they change whether or not they're, like, tall? If they are giant? They're still bickering. The boys are still bickering. Teenage angst. And he wants to find out who Loki is and what he has to do with everything. I <sighs> can't wait. This is it! This, the series has come to an end. I hope it was fun to watch. So much of that game blew me away absolutely blew me away. I thought it was awesome. There were a few things that I found kind of annoying or, I don't know, not great. I could list them, but I, I guess it's like a, a, a full mixed review or experience, but I really struggled with the combat at first. I'm not sure what it was. It was a lot of buns to pick up at once, but when I finally worked out the runic attacks, like everything changed. So it was fine after that, and the finishing, <laughs> the finishes you could do were so cool and so satisfying, and I felt powerful. However, I actually didn't like a lot of the ways of enemies. I kind of found them a, a little bit tedious at times. Uh, a good example of that is when we're in Helheim, and on the boat, there's like wave after wave of enemy. And I got a lot of comments saying it was a shame because I, I didn't see, like, we were flying past the eagle head apparently. Apparently I missed it. Because like I was, I was looking at the ship because I had to keep the fires lit. Which I did a very bad, bad job of apparently. And also fight just wave of, after wave of enemy. And at some points it was fun, but sometimes I just felt a bit tired of it. And I think it would be cool to see, I don't know more variety in the enemies. For a lot of them, especially the the weaker enemies, they were still tough, like they still felt, they still needed like a few hits to go down, and I don't know, it's, it's, it's hard for me to describe my issue with it exactly, but it just could feel tedious at times, and there's been a few little things like that that kind of irritated me throughout the game. Like if I, I don't even know if it's getting picky, but you know when you discover like lore markers or something, you'd have to wait for um, the thing to pop up to then be taken straight to it. However, usually someone is talking about what they've just read. So like um, Kratos and Atreus would be talking about it or Mimir. And by the time they're finished talking, the lore marker quick, you know, view button is gone like it just disappears because they're taking too long hopefully i'm making sense i feel like maybe that didn't make any sense what i just said there were a couple of things i felt were leading to something that never happened like it felt like it was building to something and it never resolved itself for example someone blew the horn when atreus was sick and we were carrying him to freya's Never found out what that was about. The war with the Dark Elves and the Light Elves, it's just that they're in an everlasting war, like, continuously. I thought us meddling in that would have knock-on effects. There was a point in the game where Atreus gets really moody and, like, cocky and full of himself, and I've seen a few com comments explain that they just didn't have enough time to make the transition more smooth and do it more naturally, so that's why it feels a bit jarring, but I felt like it was leading to something like maybe that could have led to a loki reveal and he actually has this like darker side to him i don't even know if loki's dark all i know is he's just a trickster right i hope that makes sense there's just like little things like that that i've 
felt a little bit jarring sometimes. It's definitely one of the best games that I've played, for sure. I don't know if it's one of my favourite games, but it definitely has a special place. Because it's just been so awesome to play on the channel, and like I say, so many new people joined the community because of it, and... Uh, it was awesome to, to see so many passionate people and find out why they were so passionate about it. On that note though, there were times where I kind of struggled with the playthrough on YouTube a little bit. I've been debating whether or not I should try and explain this, because I'm probably not going to be able to explain myself properly, but I got more negative comments on this series than any other, and I don't know if it's, it's like a mix of people being picky or like people want me to play the older games, the games that came before this, or just it felt like anything I would do <laughs> would annoy some people, and it was a it was a really hard learning curve, and it it definitely infected my enjoyment of the game at points. This is early days. By the end, I just was loving it, but yeah, <laughs> I think reaching this point now, I've learned a lot, and I can kind of tune that out. I feel like it was a good lesson to have early on if that makes sense, because, I mean, so many people complained about, like, my combat, or how I spent my XP, or whatever, if I was rushing, or missed items, or was being too slow, or whatever, but I, I'm not worried looking back, because I, I was fine <laughs> on every fight, I could do it, like, I, I could beat the Valkyries, and also the Valkyrie Queen, which was supposed to be, like, the hardest enemies in the game, so that's, that's fine with me, and I feel like I did enough in the game, I feel satisfied from it, I don't think I left anything really outstanding, like a hard fight or anything. Let me know if I did, and I can go back and check it out. But yeah, I just feel satisfied with that. But I am a little bit not satisfied with my playthrough of it, just because of that. So I feel like maybe at points during this series, I wasn't very fun to watch because I was <laughs> worrying, like overthinking at times. It was just just a new experience I think uh having more people watch your videos and you're gonna get those comments and now I'm much more prepared if we ever have a video get more views than usual in the future I'm ready for it <laughs> I feel like I'm much more prepared mentally to handle those sorts of comments but they were really tough and I think the reason I found it so hard was because I really related to the story of taking the mother's ashes to the mountain so it's hard to read that people had lots of issues with my gameplay or how I was interacting with the game because I felt like I was really invested and I was sharing something personal like my own experiences of grief and loss with my mum so it was it was hard that was kind of difficult for me but you know it's the internet and people will be people on there and I hope this isn't too disappointing to hear, but I can't, like, hide my feelings that that did affect my enjoyment of the game. So yeah, final, obviously final thoughts are that I loved it and it was really good. With a few hiccups here and there. And I'm just not going to sit here and falsely say that it was a smooth ride because, as I just said, it was not. It was not a smooth ride. Like, I am emotional to stop playing the game. See, it is special to me. Even though it was difficult, it was a lovely experience. Um, I feel like I'm explaining this so badly, I'm probably coming across as like, what the hell are you trying to say, Amber? Um, yeah, I'm just trying to say it was special, but hard, but also a magical experience, and I love the game. I'm going to be playing Red Dead Redemption 2, and finishing up with Bloodborne, after Bloodborne, I might try out Hollow Knight on the channel, see what people think of it. I, it's a game I really want to play. If it doesn't do very well, I might put it on the Simbilily Streams channel that I've made. Um, for any games that I kind of want to selfishly play. <laughs> and any uploaded VODs and whatnot will probably go on that channel there. Because I would like to start streaming soon, I'm not sure when. I am very, very shy. And there are, I feel like there are games that are good for stream and there are games that are better suited to just sit down and record. So I'll see you very soon, but 
for now. Thank you for watching and bye everyone. Oh, if you've watched till the end, if you're still here, we have to leave a secret message. Secret, secret, secret message. Um, hmm. Maybe let me know your theories for Ragnarok and what you thought of the new trailer. Any details I missed. I'll probably just rewatch it again now and just try and pick it apart <laughs> in my own time. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Bye everyone!